That's a good question, and the answer is you need it documented because the person who's going to challenge it won't be your son or daughter, it'll be your son-in-law or daughter-in-law. And the challenge will look like this. Alone? Don't be ridiculous. That wasn't alone, that was a gift to us both. Or, followed by, that's not a real loan. They don't expect to be repaid. Let's just ignore that. Thirdly, you'll have the attack by lawyers who will attack it on uh, technical grounds. One of them, maybe it's too old. And the Limitation of Actions Act has um, made the whole thing invalid. Um, look, my experience is if you trust your child to repay the loan, that child will have no objection to signing a properly drafted loan agreement. 